Platycryptus sandatus, more commonly known as the tan jumping spider or tan jumper, looks rather unassuming, but looks can be deceiving. It's really harmless to humans, but to insects, it's quite deadly. It will even capture and consume other spiders, including its own kind. Because the tan jumper is a jumping spider, it is quite capable of leaping great distances and with great speed. This helps it capture prey, and it also helps with escaping predators. Something else that helps with hunting, jumping spiders have excellent vision. Jeepers, creepers, where'd you get those peepers? Jeepers, creepers, where'd you get those eyes? Tan jumpers typically hang out on tree trunks, fence posts, and even the exterior walls of people's homes. You may have even seen them on the inside walls of your home, as they sometimes wander in, perhaps by accident. But they only want to consume other creatures in your dwelling, such as flies, roaches, and other spiders. When they do wander into human dwellings, they're generally harmless, and only bite if mishandled. I know that to some people, a jumping spider may look scary, but it is actually one of the most harmless creatures I can think of, unless you're an insect or another spider. While some jumper species are fairly curious, tan jumpers are less so. At least that's been my experience. Despite the fact that they are rather dull looking for jumping spiders, I enjoy observing and photographing them. And I have to say, they are among my favorites. In this scenario, I was looking out for tan jumpers when I happened upon this act of cannibalism. I certainly had mixed feelings about the situation as I am quite fond of tan jumpers. In the past, I've seen these jumpers get taken by spider wasps. In those cases, I could always vilify the wasps, but here, one of the jumpers was the villain. However, in nature, it all comes down to survival. What made this even harder to observe was, the victim was being eaten alive and struggled for more than 30 minutes before succumbing. When all was said and done, about two hours later, the predator's belly was quite swollen while the prey was completely desiccated. While wary at first, the hunter grew comfortable with me during the whole scenario and even finished off its prey while resting on my hand. Here is another hunting scene which I captured in photos as I did not have a video camera with me at the time. A tan jumper spotted this wood cockroach from quite a distance. Wood cockroaches are not the same kind that populate homes, but may accidentally wander in occasionally as they are attracted to porch lights. The jumper quickly scurried down a brick wall and then pounced on the roach. Here is a photo while the jumper is in midair snatching her prey, and here she is devouring it. Tan jumpers are varying shades of brown, which helps them blend in with their surroundings. Male jumping spiders can grow to about three-eighths of an inch, while females can grow to about half an inch, which makes them quite large amongst jumping spiders. Both male and female are somewhat similar in appearance, but there are notable differences. Both are a mixture of various shades of brown, from light to dark. Females have a large white mustache under their interior eyes, while males have an orange mustache. Tan jumping spiders usually have a wavy color pattern on the upper part of their abdomen. This undulating pattern is why they receive the undatus part of their scientific name, according to the National Wildlife Federation. To me, it appears that they have directional arrows on their abdomens. Tan jumpers, like many jumping spiders, have eight eyes, and those eyes provide great vision. A team of researchers at Cornell University determined that the lateral eyes of jumping spiders are outsourced for detecting motion, while the anterior median eyes have a very fine vision, similar to humans. This was learned from intensive testing. The researchers also discovered that jumping spiders can hear sounds, something previously believed not to be true. Although they couldn't find any ears anywhere on a jumping spider, they discovered that the hairs on the legs of the spiders can detect vibrations. This allows jumpers to hear predators as they get close. And jumping spiders are preyed upon by wasps, birds, reptiles, and mammals. Jumping spiders eat a variety of insects and other spiders. Generally, jumping spiders are creatures of opportunity. They'll pretty much consume whatever insect and spider they can overpower.
Tan jumpers can be found in all sorts of habitats from woodlands to overgrown fields, barns, outbuildings, and the sides of houses. Tan jumpers range from Texas and Oklahoma north to Wisconsin and most eastern states. Male jumping spiders usually woo females by dancing around with their front legs in the air. This dancing helps males to win acceptance from females for mating. Females lay eggs in summer, which hatch about a month later. If you enjoyed this video, consider clicking on the like button and subscribing. Thank you.